I'm lazy, I'm immature, and I was talking to my buddy, Andrew, about this, and what he said, I hear you, man. I'm 38, but I'm still so immature. Like, I have a couple dead mice in my room right now. Yeah, yeah, that's not immature, that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> He's completely confused, those two words. That's like if the cops that opened Jeffrey Dahmer's freezer and saw all those heads went, whew, this guy's got a lot of growing up to do. <laughs> A chair made out of skin? What, is he in middle school? <laughs> Clearly a phase. I like serial killers, I find them fascinating. What's your, what's your favorite serial killer, ma'am? Um, mostly in the movies, like Freddy Krueger. Yeah. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. I know. I know you're eight years old, but get the fuck out of here. Freddy Krueger. My favorite serial killer is the Boogeyman. And... <laughs> Freddy fucking Krueger. <laughs> Still remember that episode of Mindhunter dealing with Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Right after Ted Bundy, there was Freddy Krueger on the loose. <laughs> Fascinating A&E documentary. <laughs> you know he killed almost 12 fictional characters? <laughs> They'll never come back. <laughs> and no one cares. That's, the hard, that's, that's really the worst part about it. No one cares. All these fictional characters are dead and the cops haven't done anything! They haven't done shit! There's been eight movies, there's a hundred fictional characters dead in the ground! And the cops got something else important to do. We have no fucking respect for fictional characters. <laughs> I like Jeffrey Dahmer. I mean, I don't like Jeffrey Dahmer, but I, I find him fascinating. Mainly because every, every documentary about him, no matter how spooky, it can't help just be funny on accident. There's one documentary on Netflix. You can look it up. It's all serious and somber. And then halfway through, it just cuts to this woman who lives in the apartment next to him going, he was always cooking things. <laughs> but I never saw him bring any groceries into the apartment. <laughs> If you don't find that funny, you're a sociopath. That's how that works. <laughs> I like serial killers. I don't like the fake ones, like Hannibal Lecter. Even as a kid, I was like, come on. Hannibal the cannibal. Really? Really? So we're supposed to believe. We're supposed to believe there's this cannibal who just happens. Just happens on the rarest of odds to have the only name in the history of names to rhyme with cannibal. And no one in the movie's like, what the fuck? What's his name? Hannibal the Cannibal? What are we, in the darkest Dr. Seuss poem ever? What? No one in the movie's... Maybe that's just part of the world. They're like, in this cell is Hannibal. He's a cannibal. And in this cell is Giles Japis. <laughs> You'll never guess what he's in for. Tax fraud. 